This is Mark, and we're back here for the afternoon call. I'm doing it a little early uh, just because i got to run out of town. But uh, this market, wow, it is strong today. Um, you know, they're, they're giving us a, the push for the Olympics, I guess. But overall, obviously, if you actually look on, you know, if, if I draw a trend line right here, we did break a little bit above a short-term point, and it looks pretty good. Uh, that level, you know, talking around one Sorry, guys. Uh, you're talking about 137.50. And, you know, it looks like we're going to get top end of that ascending channel, which, again, about 140-ish. Lots of stocks really up, up, and away. Didn't expect it. Didn't see it happening. Um, the few that I was concentrating on had some nice follow-throughs. Expedia, I think, percentage-wise, was up the most. Came in a little bit. But I still think it's great. Uh, huge volume. Probably needs to rest at this point in time but hit a high of almost uh, 58.40. Amazon, still heading higher, still looks great. Probably needs to digest here, but it's at new yearly highs. This is best in breed, guys. I, I can't say it enough. Um, this is the weekly, you know, 246 is the next level, and you know you gotta go back to, to November 2012 for that level, but it looks great to me. High level base, and it's best in breed, and I keep saying I understand earnings aren't there, but you know, the, people are buying the story of Bezos just investing in the company, and I think that's the key uh, overall. You had banks, another up day. I'm surprised. Even Goldman Sachs, like, back above that level, it looks like maybe 106, one, you know, 104, you know, 61s in the cards. I don't like how it happened, I got to tell you, but such is life. You can't fight a trend at this point in time, and you got to go with the flow. JP Morgan. Again, now it's back over. It's 200 day. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to be putting new buys to work at this point. It's too late. Need to have some digestion. Uh, regardless, Facebook. I forgot to mention this morning. Not a good showing. You know, did rally a little bit, but not really. It is pretty pretty bad, and I think it's going to stay in this range. You can see it rallied off the 22 level, but overall, it's you know bad since the IPO price, and $18 is the is $50 billion valuation, roughly. So just keep that in mind. Maybe that's where the, the floor is, at least temporarily. Uh, some of the other notables, Amgen came out with good earnings, still at highs, $82.95, new highs. Decker's been gapped up a bunch. It's come in pretty much. Now it's right right where it gapped up to. A little, little volatile trading, but it's uh, it's been interesting. I mean, you can just see this first one first hour and a half of the day. It's a, it's a little crazy out there. Um, Priceline along with Expedia, tremendous day. It's now back into, uh, for some reason I cannot get this daily chart up. It looks really good. Uh, back to that level 680, a little resistance, but overall it looks good to me. We'll have to wait and see how it does it. You can't buy it. You missed it. So be it. That's the key, guys. It's, it's not about being in every play, being in every idea. Uh, but finding the best ones ideally and making cash flow. That's really the key. We're still in that tricky market. August is, I think, is going to be a little bit even more lethargic and a little bit harder to, you know, navigate. We had a big day, big end of quarter. You know, that's what they're doing, and, and, they're, and it's, it's working. So don't fight it, and that's where we're at. We're getting it to the top end of that range. 140 should be some resistance, at least temporarily, but... Is it going to get back down to the middle of the range? Are we going to live there? We'll have to wait and see. These are bigger patterns, uh, span over longer time frames, short-term technical. We did break a level over the last two and a half, three weeks that was viable, and it looks like a move to 140s in the cards. Being up 200, being up as much as we are on the NASDAQ, not buying it at this point, but I'm not fighting the trend either. Uh, I, I've lightened up on a lot of positions, including some of the ags that – you know, are, are starting to move their, themselves out of there. They still look good, but AGU, which I was buying for the last two days, looks good. Um, but overall, you know, probably gets to the 100 level, but I've taken some off across the board. So overall, guys, I didn't expect this day at all. I embraced it, didn't fight it, and, you know, you had selective stocks. I had my Amazon, I had Expedia, I had e even eBay, uh, to me, looks still looks good and looks like it's going to, you know, break out above this above this trend line at some point in time if not today uh, but overall you got to be in the right stocks if you're not quite frankly you're going to have some problems that's the key big three days up i know a lot of people weren't involved that's how the market normally does does it 
You will find some of the digestion, I would assume, next week. A little back and forth. And, uh, you know, relative strength will pay off. I think back to the moving averages. The strongest stuff, they move back to the 21-day, 50-day moving average. Probably viable again. We'll have to wait and see. The stuff that right now is trading below its 200-day, as long as it stays below there, it's probably going to stay, you know, that's places to get more short. So that, that's really where I'm at right now. I don't have a lot. I didn't have a lot of A plays today besides the earnings. And at this point, I think things have run away, run away from me personally where I want to really get involved. I'll wait and see what happens on, a, you know, to Monday where we're at. But overall, guys, it was a, certainly a powerful day for the tape. Um, and you just don't want to fight it. That's the key. You don't want to fight it. We're still sitting in that ascending channel that's working its way to the top end of the channel. That doesn't mean we can't stay up there and complexion will change. We'll have to see if three days doesn't make or break a market. But overall, you've seen a lot of relief rallies. Is this a relief rally or is this something new? Too early to tell, but we'll be here to uh, let you know when, when things come, uh, give you a little bit more co confirmation. Hopefully you had a good day today. Hopefully you have a good weekend. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the Olympics. It's going to be fun. It's exciting, um, especially the Summer Olympics. But uh, enjoy it, and I'll see you back on Monday. Hello, everybody. My name is Pete Renzulli, Chief Marketing Officer of T3Live.com. Really, really excited about introducing you to and inviting you to the first T3 Live Active Trader Summit. There's going to be a ton of great content, but the number one reason you want to come you want to be able to network and associate with other like-minded people who have a burning desire to learn how to be a trader. So I'm going to ask you to make a trade. Trade one Saturday for some of your time to come down and learn strategies, tactics, techniques, and put some faces to the people that you see in the virtual trading floor in T3 Live and learn to take your trading bigger. Learn how to be a better trader than you are now. Learn the strategies. It's going to be a lot of fun. Go to t3live.com and register. If you would like to join us at the post-event cocktail reception, you can also upgrade to either premium or VIP. That's up to you, but either way, please take advantage of the general admission, two free tickets, bring a friend, bring a neighbor, bring a wife, bring a girlfriend, maybe bring both, but come down and expect to have a great time.